in this tutorial, we will take a look at how you can use masking in Affinity Designer 2. So there are a couple of options to use masks in Affinity Designer. Um, first of all, I'm in the pixel persona because I'm working with a picture here, a pixel image. Um, and as you can see here at the left side, my toolbar is completely different when I go to the designer persona. And because I need certain things that are only available here in Pixel Persona, we're working in Pixel Persona at the moment. So the first thing I want to show you is how you can create a mask with a brush. So I'm going to take the brush tool here, the paintbrush tool, press B if you want to use the shortcut. And then here, I have to make sure I do not have a layer selected in my layers window, so make sure nothing is selected here. And you can go to your brushes here, which if it isn't visible, you can go to window and then choose brushes. There are lots of brushes you can choose from, dry media, engraving, inks, and all those. I'm going to take a dry media brush. So I'm going to take this one. And you can do this with either color you like so i'm going to change the color of my brush by double clicking here and then making it blue just to show you so now my brush is blue i'm going to increase my brush size by holding or clicking the right bracket something like that and you can do this with either color because what we're going to do now is we're going to paint and because we're painting without selecting a layer as you can see here we add a new pixel layer. So we're now painting on top of a new pixel layer. And this pixel layer can be used as a mask. So I'm just going to brush something like this here. And we can use either color because this was, will be used as a mask and it will use the alpha channel values. So either color works. And everywhere you brush, so where the color of your brush is added will be visible and the content where you haven't brushed will be masked. So what we're going to do now is take this pixel layer and I'm going to drag it on top of this fox layer and I'm going to drag it on top of the preview icon here. So to the left side of the layer. And when I release it, you can now see that my where I brushed has become a mask. And you can also see it here in the layers window to the right. There is now a mask on top of our fox. And you can also take an eraser tool uh, by pressing E or taking the eraser tool and then you can remove a part of the mask. As you can see here, you remove a part of the mask. So that's the first masking option by making a new pixel layer with the paintbrush tool and then making that pixel layer into a mask layer. I'm going to Ctrl Command Z to undo what we did and then delete this pixel layer because we don't need it anymore. The next thing I want to show you is removing the background with a mask. And this is where we need Pixel Persona because here we need the Selection Brush tool. And now I'm going to select the thing I want to mask, um, I want to have inside of the mask, so I want to see. And I'm going to make sure that I have soft edges selected here to make my selection softer and make the selection a bit better. So I'm just going to drag on top of the image I want to keep visible like this and it's necessary to decrease or increase your brush size while you're doing this which you can do with the left and right bracket key and if you added things as you can see here which shouldn't be added you can hold your all option key and just push your selection back towards where it needs to be And when you have selected what you want to select and what you want to keep visible, you have the layer select that you want to use, and then you here, then you can click here on in the bottom of the layers window on mask layer. And when you do so, as you can see here, we have now masked away our background um, by clicking your mask with your all or option key. As you can see like this, you can see the mask in black and white. Um, and then you click all the option click again like this. And the thing is, as you can see here, we now have masked away our background and we only have our fox uh, visible. If you right click your mask, you can also refine your mask 
Then you get in this view. And when we zoom in, we can see that certain areas aren't good or they need to be better. We can smooth it out like this. We can adjust the border width like this. You can also apply a feather. You can smooth it out. You can also adjust the preview here. Black and white, you can see here that we adjust the things. And you can see what you're doing. And if you're happy, you can just click apply. And then you have refined your mask. So that's also an option with the mask layer. Um, and the mask layer, by the way, is non-destructive. You can right click this mask layer and then release the mask if you want to release it. Then we turn this off. And as you can see now, our fox and our background is back. And we have a separate layer for the mask we made. And if we turn this one on, then our background disappears. And then the other thing I want to show you is how you can make a mask with text. And uh, for that, I have this layer here, which is invisible, but it is visible now. Um, difference from clipping is that to make a mask with your text is what we're going to do is drag the text layer on top of the preview of our layer we want to have inside of the text. And now, as you can see, we made a mask with type. We made a, a type, we made a text, and we have a mask. We made a mask of the text. And then the last thing we can do, uh, let me delete this or hide this mask here. With this layer, we can add a black and white adjustment layer to sort of make a mask. So when you have your layer selected, you go to the bottom of the layers window and here you have adjustments. And when you click adjustments, you can add a black and white adjustment layer. Now here, what we can do is paint with a brush on top of that adjustment layer. I'm going to make my brush size a bit bigger. And as you can already see, now we see colors. So everywhere, well, where we paint on adjustment layer, the black and white effect will be blocked out and the colors will reappear. Something like this. The black and white effect will be blocked out and a black and white layer has its own mask layer built in. So that's why when you paint on top of it, the colors reappear. And what you can also do when you're doing this, because it's a bit difficult sometimes to see where you've painted enough or where there are gaps uh, that need to be filled, you can solo this layer by all or option clicking this mask here. And now you can see gaps or inconsistencies and you can choose if you want to remove them. So I'm just going to paint a bit more here where I see that it's gray and not black like this. And then all or option click the same mask again. And now you have refined your mask. You have a black and white mask with color popping through where you brushed. So yeah, those are uh, four options of masking inside of Affinity Designer 2. Let me know in the comments below if you liked this video. Be sure to press the thumbs up button if you did. Press the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. I have new tutorials going live every week. And for now, thank you for watching my video. Stay creative and I hope to see you in the next one.